Now we know that we're close to the end of a, we're right at the door of a global destruction. We know that hanging in the hangars right now is bombs. Did you read the Life magazine? I believe it was a few days ago or weeks ago where that general said that just the first one to blow his top. That's an expression. And would touch off one of them bombs. What's going to happen? They're already hanging there. They're ready. They can time them by radar and the stars. They can drop one from Moscow right on uh, Vine Street or Sunset Boulevard and Vine exactly on the dot right on the target anywhere they want to drop one they can do it and we're sitting right out there in the ocean with these big ships when you see them the other day them submarines come up and they wouldn't even let us get near them with that radar and bomb sitting there they can put one right on my scar anywhere they want to put it now what one of these days somebody's going to make a slip and they're going to pull one and when they pull there's going to be pulling on this side too What's the world going to do? It can't stand it. There'll be a burst and a shake that world will fly to pieces. That could happen before the sun goes down tonight. A great general speaking on the other day said the next war that takes place will only be three minutes long. Three minutes. No wonder science says it's three minutes till midnight. Three minutes is all it will take to rock the world completely to pieces and blow it up. We're living on barred time. Some fanatic one of these days is going to touch one of them all. And when they out there of them listening posts and everything and ears alert, when they hear that first whistle go forth of that bomb going across, they're going to pull them too. And then when that starts, it's going to pull both ways. And here they come. It'll be a constant, completely rocking in this world of going to volcanic ashes. That's all it can do. It can never stand it. One of them bombs will blow a hole in the ground 175 feet deep, 100 miles square. And how about 10,000 of those turn loose on the United States at one time? Where's your living going to be? The world couldn't stand that shock. Even now, till the science is claiming that the, the earth is bulging out in the middle. You've seen that here the other day. You heard them talking of it. That there, the waters in the north has went down so many feet. Or in the middle of the earth, rather, and getting deeper in the north and in the south because the earth is a bulging out. The sun doesn't go around its orbit like it used to. Everything is indicating that coming of the Lord. We're right at the door. And remember, before one of those bombs can drop. Don't forget this. Jesus said as it was in the days of Noah, and in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And before Noah, for any rain fell down, Noah was in the ark safely. Before any fire fell on Sodom, Lot was outside. And before one bomb can strike it, the church will be home in glory. Gone in. Be sure. Then if this, just to think, friend, if it's that close, how much closer is the coming of the Lord? Because the Lord comes before that happens.